solihullradio.com. Geraint Thomas has all but won the Tour de France. He finished third in the penultimate day's time trial. Tomorrow's final stage is a procession. He'll now become the third British cyclist to win the race after Sir Bradley Wiggins and Chris Froome. Our sports reporter Orla Chenoui is in France. The pinnacle of any cyclist's career or ambition and that's speaking for a two-time Olympic champion, a world champion. All of that is eclipsed. Geraint Thomas wins wins his first ever Tour de France. Stansted Airport and Ryanair have apologised to passengers hit by big delays due to thunderstorms across Europe. Many have described chaotic scenes and a lack of information from staff. Catherine Lind got on a plane at Stansted yesterday. She's still there today. We're sweating it out, frustrated, stuck on this aeroplane for five hours, offered a little bit of water. We come off eventually... We arrived here at three o'clock yesterday afternoon and I haven't left. Meanwhile, Eurotunnel passengers travelling to France are also facing delays at its Folkestone terminal. A man's been questioned on suspicion of murder and sexual activity with a child following the death of a teenage girl in Southampton. 13-year-old Lucy McHugh's body was discovered in Woodland on Thursday. MPs are warning fake news is causing a crisis threatening the fabric of democracy. The Commons Culture Committee says voters are bombarded with online hate messages and disinformation. Graduates are being offered six weeks of high-intensity training as part of a scheme to help neighbourhood police. It follows a drop in the number of officers patrolling streets in England and Wales since 2009. And Sir Tom Jones has apologised to fans after his gig at York Racecourse last night was cancelled due to the stormy weather. He recently had to pull out of five days of his live tour through illness. That's the latest. I'm Tanya Snugs. This is the moment you've waited for You've been searching in the dark Your sweat soaking through the floor And buried in your bones There's an ache that you can't ignore Taking your breath Stealing your mind And all that was real is left behind Don't fight it, it's coming for you Running at you It's only this moment Don't care what can gather Your fever dream Can't you see you getting closer Just surrender Cause you feel the feeling taking over It's fire, it's freedom It's flooding open It's a picture in the pulpit And your blood devotion There's something breaking At the brick of every wall It's holding all that you know So tell me, do you want
Debs Donnelly on Solihull Radio. Hello, I'm back. Well, as I say, I don't know whether it is the greatest show because, oh, if you'd have been around, oh, excuse me, a frogeth in the throateth. Can you hear me? Oh, that's better. That's I can hear myself now. Now, if you'd have been here just before, Jeff with his wings of steel flew to my aid. I went. I I said, Jeff, I can't hear myself and I can't hear my music. And <laughs> he's come running down here. Well, not running. He he got the car because I mean he can't just run all the way the length of the Stratford Road. You'd injure yourself. But anyway, thank you, Jeff, for coming to my rescue. And do you know what Deb's done? Do you know what I'd have done? Now, those who know me here are not surprised by this. I'm not surprised myself, but I have a little volume button on my wire that I can turn my headphones up and down, and it was turned to zero. So there you go. That's why I couldn't hear anything. And I was thinking, well, Josh has had his show, and he couldn't. He didn't say, couldn't it? So I do apologise. <laughs> I do apologise, Jeff. It's been one of those days. Well, actually, it's been a very nice day. I will be telling you this week about um, oh. In the week that Michael Bublé's wife, Mrs. Bublé, had a baby girl. Now, I know they've got two boys, so now they've got a little girl. Now, imagine, imagine that. In the labour suite, and you look up, and there's Michael Bublé. Mm. Oh, gosh. Do you know, it's all going on tonight. <laughs> it's all going on tonight. The microphone's just swilled <laughs> Swiveled round, I mean, uh, let, let's get a grip. Let's just get a grip on life and reality, shall we? Let's just do that. Right, where was I? Yes. Uh, well, I was going to say, blimey, it's up, but it's changed a bit today. Anyway, Donnelly Mansions, what's happened there? Mm-hmm. We've also, uh, guess where I've been today? Oh, and I, I was made most welcome by Ian Smith, who's the station commander. Excuse me. Me and the station commander are like, you know, buddies. Anyway, um, I've just got to say that I was actually waiting outside on a chair, outside his office, because the mayor was in there. Flo was in there, speaking to Ian. And um, had to wait. Had to wait my turn. I did feel like I was having a job interview. Thanks to Pete and Tracy, who, who um, befriended me. A bit like a lost puppy. But thank you very much. And to um, the other man in the white shirt, the other firefighter in the white shirt, with, uh, all I can say is he had a shaved head and a nice face. Um, thank you for looking after me till Ian got on to me. Thank you very much. That sounded bad. I didn't mean to. Anyway, there are a lovely bunch of fellas at... Oh, and ladies. I do apologise because it's not gender or in at, any, <gasps> at Solio Fire Station. Thank you for welcoming. And we fixed up a fantastic deal with them, whereas Solio Radio is going to be their go-to point when there is any um, anything serious going on where there's a road blockage or um, there's just generally chaos everywhere. And they're going to get in touch with the station, let us know, and we're going to tell you where to avoid, what to avoid, and not to rub a neck, which we don't need. Thank you very much. You'll dislocate something. And they are also going to tell us about charity things that are going on. And they've actually got a charity car wash on the 15th of September. So I'm going to take my little Citroen C1 along and they can give it a clean for me. But what a great bunch of fellas. Thank you very much. And now, you see, police got a bit jealous that the Don was at the fire station. And they have actually invited me over to Chelmsley Wood next week. So I'm going to another open day next week. And my new name at the station is... Open day dips. There you go. Don't know whether that sounds correct or politically correct, but there you go. That's what I am going to be known as from now on. What else has happened? <gasps> We've got very exciting news from. I'm going to have to move this mic. I keep hitting it with me. Right, okay. Um, got very exciting news from uh, Solihull Towers. I will tell you in a little while. Josh has, all, Josh has already mentioned it earlier, but I am going to tell you in a minute something very... Be- we are so excited. We can't brace ourselves enough. And we may need your help if you, if you deem yourself good enough to do. We need some office furniture. 
We need office furniture. We need a couple of nice, nice old sofas if you've got anything. Coffee tables, magazines, you name it, we need it. Because we have got something exciting going on in our lives. And I will tell you more about it in a moment. I am going to play a song for my daughter's friend. Um, and it's because we were talking about Miranda the other night. You know, you know the thing on the film, and you know when she does that. Why have you done that day to make you feel proud? Well, we're gonna put. I'm gonna play some of that while I swivel my microphone round. Here we go. Let's try this. I forgot how good that song is. What now? I am reading, as you well know, because I keep telling you every week. But it's such a good book. I'm really enjoying it. Aunt Middleton's first man in. Is it first man in? And something else. There's a little bit afterwards, and I forgot what that little bit is. Anyway, but I'm reading the book, and it is good. And what he does every so often, he does little pages of affirmations. Do you know what I mean? Like, um. 
And his one affirmation was, I might be doing this wrong, Ant, so I apologise, but basically what it is, is he, he recommends to boost yourself that you before you put your light out at night you, you lie in bed and you think to yourself what have i done today that's made me feel good about myself ask yourself that question give yourself two minutes and then turn your light out and go to sleep and i've been trying that for the week and i've got to say it does work so along with that song being for a keel there's also the fact that what have you done today to make yourself feel proud well i actually I'm very proud. My needle's not working. Is it? Can you hear me? Okay. Are we? Are we? Are we all on? Are we all up and running? Because I don't feel like we are. Is that any better? Right. Okay. So, what I've done today has made me feel very proud because I've made a connection for Solio Radio, and it made me feel really good about it. Do you know what I mean? I just feel like, yeah, I feel good. I feel good. Apart from the incident with the micro, with the speakers on my headphones but there you go anyway um exciting news Solial towers is moving we're moving house and we're moving from where we are now to the center of Solly hall we're literally going to be in the middle of Solly hall and where we should be it's like we've been in nursery and now we're going to big school that's what it's like but I need you to ferret about, excuse the expression, in your spare, in, we, we're looking for basically because the new studio is massive and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not exaggerating, it's, it's big and it's fantastic in the fact that Mac could do a handstand in it, so there you go, that's how big it is, but if you look on our Facebook page or on our Twitter feed or whatever, you will see because we're all stood next to a pillar hugging a pillar in the studio and i've got to say julia took the picture and i love that picture julia i think we should have it on the wall of the new studio and we have a reception oh it's proper posh it's proper posh i've never seen jeff so animated in my whole life he was like a little rabbit bouncing around looking in the cupboards deciding oh jeff he was so excited anyway the thing is we need some lovely furniture for our, our new studio. Now, we are absolutely, and not begging, but if you have got a swivel chair that you no longer require and your wife keeps saying to you, will you get rid of that? I'm sick of looking at it. Obviously in decent condition. Or a coffee table, anything really. Get in touch with the station and we will do our, uh, we'll see whether it's um, what we're looking for and um, we would be very grateful for, you, for your help. So you can call us on 0121 Text us on 0756430064. And email us at studio at solioradio.com. And if you'd like a request or anything else, let me know straight away. And I will do that for you. Now, obviously, the week that we move, it's going to be a big thing. So we... Uh, I think there will be a week of pre-recorded shows and the reason for that is because we all need to muck in as they say and get the new studio set up which we are very very happy to do we're all I've never seen such a group of excited ch people in a, yeah children yeah excited children let's say children in a room in my whole life it was absolutely fantastic and it's absolutely and you know what's brilliant is the fact that we're right in the middle of Solly Hall so you we're, we're there for you and that's what we're going to be you'll be able to get to us well not get to us in you know don't do anything drastic but you'll be able to get to us I was saying to um, Station Commander Smith today that um, we will be just up the road from them so we can pop in for a cup of tea which would be rather nice i've got them nearly getting the police on board i'm going to speak to them next weekend i don't know what's going on all these and i just need to get to um sell your ambulance service and we'll be well away and um as i say we're your station we're there for you i will be letting you know everything no not just me the other presenters as well everything that's going on any road closures whatever and um 
I was going to say, blimey, it's hot, but the rain has come down now. And I've got to say, I was at the fire station this afternoon when the heaviest shower come down, and all the people surged. They surged under the shelter, but it blew. <laughs> it was quite funny, actually. The wind blew the rain under the shelter, so they weren't getting anywhere. But thank you very much for your hospitality today. Has a lovely chat with Ian Smith. He's a really nice chap with a very crisp shirt. I noticed that. And I hope that you will listen to us um, on your whatever you listen to well obviously you listen to a radio I know, I know you're not inbreds or anything do you know what I mean I know you've got but when you have any music on please 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 listen to us because we are for you I am going to oh did you hear my bracelet then going to do this Solihullradio.com And then I'm going to do this. Deb Donnelly on Solihull Radio. And then we're going to have a few adverts. There Fed up go. with condensation every morning and hate that yucky mould patch in the bathroom. It's time to contact EnviroVent. They've helped tackle mould and condensation dampness in over a million homes, just like yours. To find out more and to book a free home survey, visit EnviroVent.com because air matters. SolihullRadio.com Stagecoach Solihull teaches skills in drama, singing and dance. But these skills don't just vanish when the curtain falls. They're skills for life, stretching imaginations and improving literacy. For a career in the arts, learning new skills or just having fun. So visit our website www.stagecoach.co.uk forward slash Solihull Stagecoach Solihull Skills for the arts. Skills for life. Yeah! The Fireplace and Stove Centre, 1204 Stratford Road, Hall Green. Specialists in wood-burning stoves, gas and electric fires with over 50 live displays in the showroom. Come in and experience your new fireplace solutions. Call 0121 777 8585 for more details. You're listening to Sonic Hall Radio. Indian Dream on Dove House Parade, Sally Hall's premier family-run restaurant offering authentic Indian and Bangladeshi cuisine. With fresh ingredients and creative chefs, they can provide bespoke dining experiences, eat in or take away. 0121 704 9058. Radio. Right, now, while I was at the fire station today, I bumped into quite a few of the children that I work with. So if I bumped into you, I heard, I heard quite a few of, oh, there's Mrs. Donnelly over there. Oh, hello. Anyway, if I spoke to you or spoke to your mummies or daddies today, it was lovely to see you and I hope you have the loveliest of holidays and stay safe. And I was speaking to Ian Smith today and he said that he's going to get a few firefighters. Wow, how lucky am I? What a lucky girl am I? Because I've got to say, those firefighters are quite nice looking fellas, you know. It's not doing it's a uniform or what, I don't know, anyway. But um, he's going to let, um, there's going to be a couple of them come into the studio when we've moved to our new abode. And they're going to talk to us about water safety. They're going to talk to us about connecting your um, your fire, you know, what's that thing? Fire alarm. So that, um, you know, and how you can have it done. Because it, they'll come in and fit you on, you know. You don't have to pay. So if you're Doris, who's worried counting the quaffers, Please don't panic because the fire service will help you out. Um, they're going to come in and talk about various things, fire prevention and things. So that, oh, I'm quite looking forward to that. So any other presenters who get their ideas, get off their mine. The firemen are mine. And I'm telling you now, they're mine. Right, OK. Anyway, I don't mind. I'm only teasing you. Well, while I was at the fire station today, I bumped into a very special young man. And he's a young man with his new haircut. I've got to say, Josh, I thought it was a lovely haircut. Very, very nice. Very trendy. Need a bit of gel and then you floppy bit won't be floppy. But there you go. I am um, going to say that Josh, at the moment, is going through quite a lot in his little life. 
I don't want to go into too, too, too much detail because I don't want to upset anybody. Or, But needless to say, we're very proud of you, Joshua, because he comes to our school. And we are very, 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 very... There's not enough fairies in the world to say how proud we are of you. You're a delightful boy, an absolute sheer pleasure, and I have missed you. I missed taking you out with Jacob and having a game of tennis and playing a little bit of football and whatever. And I want you to make me a big promise. I want you to make Mrs Donnelly a big promise that you will stay the same as you are and as positive as you are forever and ever because you are an absolute delight. Now, Joshua likes this song. Um, it has a special meaning for him. Um, I didn't know about this song. It was a, when um, his mum actually told us about it and the words are beautiful. And he actually said to his mum that um, this is how he feels. Um now Josh, we love you to bits and we want you to get better. So I'm going to play this song for you and your mom and your dad and your brothers and your oh everybody else who knows you and loves you because you have got a lot of support out there. Um, you're a delightful young man and um, we need you to get better. Do you understand, mate? That is an order. Do you understand? I'm going to get me teaching assistant voice on there. Do you understand me, Joshua? Am I making you smile? I hope I'm making you smile. I'm going to play this for you, sweetie, because it's your, it's your song. We'll call this Joshua's song. And I want you to listen to the words. It's beautiful. Help me. It's like the walls are caving in. Sometimes I feel like giving up, but I just can't. It isn't in my blood. Laying on the bathroom floor, feeling nothing. I'm overwhelmed and insecure. Give me something I could take to ease my mind slowly. Just have a drink and you'll feel better. Just take her home and you'll feel better. Keep telling me that it gets better. Does it ever? It's like the walls are caving in Sometimes I feel like giving up No medicine is strong enough Someone help me I'm crawling in my skin Sometimes I feel like giving up But I
you go, Joshua. That was just for you. Oh, do you know? I don't know whether I'm a bit loud now. I don't ask Jeff <laughs> after, after what happened before. Joshua, that was just for you, my lovely. Now you take care of yourself. You have lots of rest. And just, you know, sort of enjoy the holiday. Knowing that we're all at home having a, a, you know, with you. We haven't forgotten about you. And that's important. We never will. So please look after yourself. Anyway, where was I? Don Early Mansions, what's happened? Well, I broke up. I broke up on Monday, didn't I? So now I have the luxury of six weeks. Broken up and look at the weather today. How dare it. How very dare it. Um, and I text the sea cadets and I'm still waiting for them to contact me. They may have forgotten who I am, which is fair enough because it was... I've, I've, I've had a bit of a hectic lifestyle for a few weeks. So consequently, I didn't get to contact them as quickly as I'd like to have been um, in contact. Um, and I hope they haven't forgotten me. Oh, if not, I'll have to text them again and make myself news. Uh, make myself a nuisance. Right, what's going on? Apart from us moving house, which will be absolutely fantastic. We're going to big school. We Jeff Jeff feels that we've actually you know we've passed the first part of pass. Uh, what, what is it of selection? And we're now into the second phase. <laughs> I'm glad we've done. We, we, we've worked hard, Jeff. We've tried really hard to get everything, and and I know this is um, bigger than what you thought it would ever be. But please, we're proud of it and we love it. We must love it, because you know, we wouldn't come back every week, would we? You know, be oh, can't make it this week. I'm busy. Got to go out with Joanna, whoever Joanna is. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, right, what's happening? I'm going to break down things. I'm not going to. I'm not going to surge at you in big lumps this week. I'm going to do little bits. Right now, every third. Let me make sure I get this right. Somebody has just gone past with the biggest truck I've ever seen in my life. I don't know what he thought he was doing, but there you go. We're only on Birmingham roads, Solihull roads. We don't need mega tanks right every third thursday at the month you can have a cuppa and a chat and i should imagine a cake at the boston tea party in herbert road solly hall and now that the postcode if you need your sat nav is b91 3qe and it's every every third thursday of the month and you can actually go along have a chat have a drink and just general, not have a drink, you know, have a cup of tea. Just generally relax, get to know people. See, you know what I'm saying to you? And you know, I always say to you, you should do things that make you, you know, socialise. I know it's hard for some of you, and I know that you may in a little bit of a, be in a bit of a rut, and you've got to where you want to be, and you know, oh, I'm quite comfy here, my slippers fit. Well, please. Kick your slippers off and put your shoes on and get yourself along to the Boston Tea Party every third Thursday because you meet new people and that's what life's about, meeting new people. Now, I was sitting in the garden yesterday and I heard this song. Now, I haven't heard... I, haven't heard, I, I love this film, though, actually. I forgot about the film, I forgot about the song and I forgot what it was like. And do you remember the film, To Sir With Love? No, because we're too young, Debs. We're not all old like you. Thank you. It had Lulu in it and Sidney Poitier. Sidney Poitier is a very, very good actor. I think he's still alive. I think he is. Anyway, um, I heard this song and it's the title track to the film To Sir With Love. And if you ever get to watch To Sir With Love, now if you watched it, it would probably would be a bit dated now. But I've got to say that it's a lovely film and it makes you feel quite good if you watch i'm going to play the song if i can fiddle me buttons right i'm going to play the song and i want you to just it's just just chillax just chill with it
little gentle song isn't it it's nothing too heavy duty and the film itself is lovely it's about um, a teacher who goes to work in a bit of a rough school in London and the kids give him a hard time and then they realize when they're about to leave that he wasn't such a bad old fish you know and a bit like all of you really do when we're all at school and we think I always, you always remember one teacher, don't you? Mine was Mr Older. I remember Mr Older. He was so lovely. He was our form teacher and I thought the world of him. Anyway, if you're still around, Mr Older, I'll remember you. Hopefully you are. I don't know how old you'd be now. Older? <laughs> oh, sorry. Anyway, where was I? Um, oh, did you hear that bump? Do you know, every week that happens to me, that bump. I don't know, it's, it's, I don't know whether it's just, you know, that was shocked that my brain's actually working. I really don't know. But anyway, um, we have something starting in Solly Hall for the holidays. And it is called the Mini Mel's. Mini, because it's for children. Mel's, because it's in Mel Square. Let's get this bit over and done with and thought about. And then we'll move forward. Right. Okay, the Mini Mel's is a... a I can't read my own writing. Here we go. It's a, a oh a free kids club, and it returns this summer. So it obviously has been there before because this time last year we didn't exist, so I wouldn't have known about it. And my children are older, so right okay. And this year they are partnered with local sports clubs. So every Saturday from the twenty eighth of July to the eighteenth of August. Yeah, the first Saturday will consist of oh hang on the first saturday solihull mayor will visit miss old mrs will visit and mrs flo nash that's her name um she's our mayor now she said i met her today well i briefly met her i saw the back of her head and she seems a very she seems a very down to earth lady who you'd like as a nana she seemed very and she she went up and she was talking to all the children it was lovely actually it's really nice so welcome flo nash to being our mayor and i've got to say i never spoke to you but i was in after you with ian right um i hope you had a good rest of the day because i heard you saying you had to go on somewhere else right so this week um well it would have been today wouldn't it so it's a bit late now but i don't know what's on but you can have a look on the website and find out what's on next week but this week we had starlight um school of dance doing a workshop with some children you don't have to pay just take them along it's good for it's good for your children to have some exercise because what else are they going to be doing come on you tell me what the rest of the holiday it consists of your children now they need to exercise this is what i'm saying 
And if you take them along to that, they'll have fun, they'll meet new people and do something with themselves. You know, like when all we're going on about keeping, we don't have to, you need to work on this. I've got loads of stuff to tell you about what's going on Sonny all this week. And I just want to make sure that I don't miss anything. That's why I'm looking at what I've got. Right. I've told you about the mini mouse and I've told you about the copper at the Boston Tea Party. Right. And there's things going on at Tudor Grove. I'm not going to bombard you all at once. So you can slowly peruse. After the news, you will have my thought of the day, which hopefully is a bit oh it's kind of a so dark oh it's raining again oh it's coming down mind you we need it we absolutely and utterly need it and while i was at the fire station today they did a couple of fire demos and i've got to say that it's quite scary fire i i i don't have a phobia of fire but it, it's one of those things that when you watch it it's a it's it's almost beautiful, isn't it, when looking when you look at a fire, a flame, because you know of the way the patterns and everything. Not beautiful. I'm not a pyromaniac. I'd like to say that, but it is. But it's a very dangerous thing, and they showed you. First of all, I did. I missed the first one because I was. I'd only just landed, and uh, I was sort of getting my bearings. But the heat, because. So, I'm trying to think how I could explain it without you seeing it. <coughs> Excuse me. They have like two big, um, you know, like those skips that open up and they're quite tall and deep. And what they do is they put two, they're not skips, they're like metal room things and they put two side by side. And the first one showed you um, how quick it, it took for a... I don't know what fire it was. It was some sort of French pathetic, but I wasn't there, so I didn't. I, the first one I didn't catch, but I was the other side. I was right by the fire station, and the heat off it was horrific. So, I have got to say, the next one they did was they set fire to a living room, well, not a natural living room, but they put a sofa in and whatever. It took literally seconds for this fire to take hold, and then within another few seconds the whole thing had gone up so um there they go in they go in again with their hose and their water and whatever but i've got to take my hat off to you fellas because i tell you the heat that was coming off of that was horrendous and you know it isn't just about the heat it's the smoke they're breathing well they've got breathing apparatus but if you hadn't if you were in that house as living there and you're breathing in those fumes, you, whew, you're, you're, you're going to be bad if you do not die. And what you need is a smoke alarm. I've got two in my house, and I, you know, I do have them checked because I've got, a, I've got quite an old house, so my house is quite fiddly, if you know what I mean. I've got one on the landing upstairs, and I've got one in the hall, and. Um, I think that, but you haven't got to pay for them. I mean, you're all out there now thinking, oh, yeah, I'll get one of them fitted. You haven't got to pay for it to be fitted. The fire service come and do it for you. And you haven't got to find any money for it. They come because they want to save your life. They're not doing it because it's a nice decoration. They're doing it to, you know, make sure that you are safe in your home. And the other thing somebody told me as well, I don't know whether this is right, maybe somebody from the fire service can ring and tell me if I am actually correct in this but to always have whatever wherever you live have your escape route so if there is a fire there's a way you know to get out mine's to go through the bathroom through the window and i don't you know i would kick the window out and underneath we have um like a slanted roof so me and jess would get out that way dragging the cat with me i couldn't leave my cat oh no i'd have to take him with me i um honestly do believe that you need to plant a route like that i'm not being morbid but deb's donnelly on solihull radio it's a fact of life that fires do happen whether you intend them to or not i was saying to ian the other day that i actually 
was a fool. I was cooking the tea and I put a kitchen roll next to my cooker because I was getting up, you know, you know what we've been doing with tidy while we're doing. And um, the flame off the gas ring caught the kitchen roll on fire. But Jess went, Mom, there's a funny smell of burning. I went, oh, anyway, threw it in the bowl. I was I was a brave bunny, but maybe I shouldn't have. But I was a bit scared. It did scare me. So if if your kitchen roll can scare me, imagine a sofa going up. Right. Um, if you want to call me with any office of furniture, office furniture, or I don't want I don't want your old bed or anything. I'd like some office furniture. Or you would like to request a song, or you would like to just generally tell me how your life is going today. Please call me on 0121 777 It's got a bit dark in here, so I can't really see the picture anymore. Um, or text me on 075-6430-3064. Or you can email me at studio at solioradio.com. And if you feel free, you can Twitter and Facebook us as well. Um, if you look on Facebook, we've got some really nice little bits for you to read. We've also got a lovely picture of us in our new studio. And I've got to say, we're so excited. We're, we're really excited. Jeff, you don't know how excited we are. I am going to play a bit of Simply Red for you now. And you are going to enjoy it, whether you want to or not. Because I can't believe that it's nearly 10 to 7 and nearly an hour of my show's gone. Oh, I do wish her on. Josh said earlier, my laptop was playing up and I had to improvise. Well, I do that all the time, but maybe it's easier for a woman. Do you think? It's easier for a woman than a man, isn't it, to witter about things that aren't significant in life? I think possibly. Well, they're significant to us. They may not be significant to you, but they are to us. I'm going to play a bit of... Um, who did I say I was going to play? A bit of Simply Red, didn't I? I haven't heard his voice for ages either.
tried to pick some really good songs again this week. I've, I'm going to double ABBA as well. Instead of being Latino this week, I'm double abba -ing. And you know why I'm double abba -ing. You might say, why? Why is that woman doing that to me? I can't stand ABBA. Well, I'm sorry, tough. What's out this week? Mamma Mia. Here we go again. And I actually heard one of the songs from it that I hadn't heard for ages. Apparently, between you and I, they've adjusted some of the lyrics because they are politically incorrect. Why? I do not know. It's ABBA, for heaven's sake. We're not talking public image limited or, you know, this. one nearly said the naughty word there. Controversial band. You said a naughty word, sorry Jeff. And I've got to say that the two songs I've picked might be politically incorrect, but they're ABBA. Does it matter, really? At the end of the day, it's ABBA. It's a great film. You don't want to go, if you get a moan about it, don't go and see it. That's all I can say. Do you know what I love about it? Is that everything's blue and it's all sunshiny and it's actually quite a feel good film. So just enjoy. If your beloved drags you along to watch it, smile at her in such a way that says, I love you, darling. And yes, I will come and see the film with you, even though you're seething under your breath and you'd rather be watching Match of the Day. Please, just think of the lady in your life. Anyway, I met somebody today. I met Firefighter Pete and his wife Tracy. Now, Firefighter Pete was a very pleasant gentleman and his wife was absolutely lovely. She's a nurse and he's a firefighter. Now, he was saying to me that he was actually in his former life, a DJ. So, welcome to our little, little group and band of merry men, Pete. I've got to say thank you to you and Tracy for making me a lovely cup of tea. Well, Tracy made me a lovely cup of tea, actually. It was a delight. And that, what a lovely couple. An absolutely lovely couple. Even though they sort of, you know, they had a, they were like sort of, you know, when couples moan at each other but friendly in a loving way. Do you know what I mean? That's what they were like, and it's really so lovely to be like that. And I do miss that. I miss that in um, in a lot of ways. But my white life, I, that's my thought of that. I'm not telling you anymore because my thought of the day is very positive this week, and it's going to continue to be that way. You are listening to, let me tell you who you're listening to. Oh my gosh, you're listening to. And I am. I am. Debs Donnelly on Solihull Radio. And it's nearly coming up for time with the notes. Do you think, I, do you think, do you think I dare try and fit? Oh no. I, I won't upset Jeff just yet. I was going to play a little bit, little mix for Kate because I know she went. I think she did. Oh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll play, I'll play this one for you, Jeff. I don't know why I'm going to play this one for you. It's just that it isn't little mix and it's anything but. So I'm going to let you listen to this.
Online on demand, you are listening to Solihull Radio. Geraint Thomas has all but won the Tour de France. He finished third in the penultimate day's time trial. Tomorrow's final stage is a procession. He'll now become the third British cyclist to win the race after Sir Bradley Wiggins and Chris Froome. Our sports reporter, Orla Chenoui, is in France. The pinnacle of any cyclist's career or ambition, and that's speaking for a two-time Olympic champion, a world champion, all of that is eclipsed. Geraint Thomas wins his first ever Tour de France. Stansted Airport and Ryanair have apologised to passengers hit by big delays due to thunderstorms across Europe. Many have described chaotic scenes and a lack of information from staff. Catherine Lind got on a plane at Stansted yesterday. She's still there today. We're sweating it out, frustrated, stuck on this aeroplane for five hours, offered a little bit of water. We come off eventually. We arrived here at three o'clock yesterday afternoon and I haven't left. Meanwhile, Eurotunnel passengers travelling to France are also facing delays at its Folkestone terminal. A man's been questioned on suspicion of murder and sexual activity with a child following the death of a teenage girl in Southampton. 13-year-old Lucy McHugh's body was discovered in Woodland on Thursday. MPs are warning fake news is causing a crisis threatening the fabric of democracy. The Commons Culture Committee says voters are bombarded with online hate messages and disinformation. Graduates are being offered six weeks of high-intensity training as part of a scheme to help neighbourhood police. It follows a drop in the number of officers patrolling streets in England and Wales since 2009. And Sir Tom Jones has apologised to fans after his gig at York Racecourse last night was cancelled due to the stormy weather. He recently had to pull out of five days of his live tour through illness. That's the latest. I'm Tanya Snugs. Deb Donnelly on Solihull Radio. Right, I thought... I would give you my thought of the day. Now, I am just fiddling with my buttons because I don't want you to be deaf. Right, okay. Okay. Oh, Reeves is ringing me now. I'll have to ring you back in a minute, Reeves. Right, okay. Um, What was the sign? My thought of the day. Here we go. I can't do everything. I'm not an octopus. Right, last week, I I I didn't feel great. I'd had a bit of a funny old week and... And I felt me thought, I had to listen to me listen again, and I felt me, me thought of the day. Well, it was how I was feeling, and I, I told you about it, and I felt better for getting it off my chest. So this week, I'm trying to be a bit more positive, and I, I will be a bit more positive, because after I'd thought about what I'd, I'd said last week, and I'd listened again and decided, I just want you to, and then I read, obviously, Aunt Middleton, and he said about having, you know, lie there and think about what you've done 
in the day that's made you feel good about yourself which I'm trying to do so this is my thought of the day look back look at what you've got around you that's what I'm trying to do and I, and, and I think I've, I think I've achieved that so what I'm looking at, at around me is the fact yeah I'm still single and yes I would like to meet somebody but it's not oh, I beg your pardon it's not going to be the be all and end all of my life if I don't I don't if I do I do I, you know and I will know if I do um but meanwhile I have looked around me and thought right Debs what have you got I've got so much I'm so rich do you realize how rich I am I have got four healthy daughters and they've all got partners I have four healthy grandsons and a granddaughter I have my health I have so much going on I've got my acting I've got my radio show I've got people on this radio team that genuinely look after me and make sure I'm alright if they think I found it sound a bit down I had that many phone calls off these lovely men that I work with um, last week to say no not fussing typical man conversation you know just rang to see if you're all right yeah oh good okay bye but you know thank you for that guys so i want you to start doing the same i want you to start thinking hmm what have i got that i didn't have or what am i reaching and you'll be surprised how positive you start to feel so my thoughts of the day this week let's work on being positive let's work on looking round and thinking right what have i got in my life that's good and let's act on it shall we shall we do oh oh i know where i'm going to play you now that's my thoughts of the day i want you to be more positive i'm going to be more positive i'm a bit tired at the moment because this hot weather doesn't suit and I'll, i can't remember the last time i had a proper night's sleep so um i'm feeling fine though and thank you for everybody who's shown any concern i'm doing okay i am Debs Nonnelly and i don't very few things get me down in life and if they do i tell them off and move them move them on with short sharp thrift i'm going to play you a bit of pet shop boys no everybody plays the usual pet shop boys but i heard this on the radio today while i was listening because i do love my radio and um it's one of those that i hadn't heard for a while so i hope i kept finding myself out before i've even started um i hope you enjoy it and um just go, go and swing pour yourself a nice glass of vino and have a dance to this
go bit of pet shop boys it's not your usual pet shop boys either is it no it's one of those pet shop boys that you don't hear very often right i've just had a phone call from reevesy to say if i'm all right i said yes i'm fine thank you then he said do you fancy popping up for a drink after the show oh, I, I don't don't know because i don't drink and drive i'm a good girl but i might pop and have a quick coca cola you know what should i say brand names on here i do apologize Anyway, let's have a look what's going on in Sully Hall. Right, we have a chance to dance. Now, any chance I have, I like to dance. So, you know, this this is holding no surprise for me. And if I could go, I would. But I think it's on a... Hold on a minute. Is it on a... Oh, no, no, it's on a Monday. I could go. Just to show diversity how it's done. Do you know what I mean? Because obviously they really don't know how to dance because they won the X Factor on it. Just a, a technicality. Obviously me not being there was the technicality. Anyway, at Tudor Grange Park on the 27th of August, which is bank holiday weekend, folks, is Chance to Dance. Now, it's a dance. You don't get up and dance. What do you do? You get up and dance where you are on the little spot you've been given on the grass in Tudor Grange Park. And if for you, a four, let's imagine this now, there is a stage. And on the stage, there is people who can dance. Unlike you, who have a little spot, they have a massive spot. And they can dance on it. There you go. So, if you'd like to, I think you should get yourself... Oh, have I put it in a... Oh, starts at 11 and it ends at 8. That's a lot of dancing. You'll be tired by half six. Well, actually, you might be tired by two. Anyway, also at that weekend, on Friday the 24th of August, which is also bank holiday weekend. Brace yourself now, because I might get... Oh, no, it's a Friday. We're all right. Anyway, the only day I have to watch is a Saturday, because obviously you lot, your lives would not be so full if I wasn't around. Right, what's happening on Friday the 24th of August? I think Mrs O'Brien's going to this. Uh, Jeff's wife. Yes, because she's... Um, well, point of interest. Point of interest. You know when it says on Facebook, going to an event near you, and uh, it's one of your friends, but they're going to something in Hereford. Well, I'd like to say I'm not living in Hereford. I live in... Well, it won't matter where I live. I'm not having anybody stalking me. Had a couple of them since I've been on air, I tell you. Anyway, um, Friday the 24th of August, Solial Open Air Cinema. Now, I think Rosie might have mentioned this last night when he was, um, you know, doing his whatevers. Um, and it's adults are £10 and children are £5. And the gates open at 6 and showtime. 
this is showtime is um started at 7 15 and guess what show it is it is the greatest showman and you can watch it open aired when i say open aired i mean that sounds a bit doesn't it but anyway um and if the weather's like it has been because this is just a brief interlude of wetness and we will be returning to the sunny shine you can get your tickets from tkt.2 forward slash greatest showman now i've said it in the oh it's tickets isn't it <laughs> love it right it's ticket.2 forward slash great <laughs> greatest showman oh utter stop it stop it and the other thing that's going on at bank holiday weekend at um tudor grange park is the soul fest saturday the 25th of august and the tickets are you can get them online on buff b u w -F, f for freddy dot l y forward slash 2x b93 i j don't ask me i just read what's on the website the other reason the other place you can get your soul fest tickets is if you know when you go into touchwood and you've got what's it called on the corner starbucks and then you've got that very posh art gallery the other side and you go in one of the first units there is actually a soul fest ticket sales place it's not a sales place it's a booking office you can go in there you can go actually into touchwood into the book it office book it booking office and order your ticket now i was sorely tempted to do double abba just a minute ago but i've just realized the time and i know that i have to do a few adverts in a minute i have been looking up this week because i as i said before i have been had trouble sleeping this week because of the heat and I sleep on my own, so heaven help everybody who sleeps with somebody because I'm hot. So if you've got another body in that bed with you, it must be even hotter for you. Anyway, the things I want to... I'm going to give you some tips. I laughed at some of these because I thought, well, how are you going to do this? But I'll give you those tips afterwards. But the one thing I need to... And I was speaking to Firefighter Pete and Firefighter Ian today about um, this is there's a few things that you need to do when you're in the sun first of all make sure you don't leave your dog or baby in a car you can kill a dog a, do a heat stroke can kill a dog so if you've got a dog in a car don't take the dog if you know you're going to be gone for a little bit don't take the dog i don't care whether he's your baby or not don't take him leave him in the house with a lovely dish of cold water and you know Leave him, leave him in a cool room Don't put him in the car you might as well you know anyway if, you, if, if you're not listening to me well that's up to you but certainly i wouldn't i haven't got a dog but i wouldn't put i did have a dog once and i wouldn't have put him in a hot car because it can kill him or even if you just run into a shop don't leave your baby in a car either if you don't know what's going to happen i mean that poor lady who, who had a car ca keep car cap car napped car jacked and her baby was in the back oh heaven knows what she felt like but i'm glad you got your baby back my love that's that's the main part forget the car they can have the car drink plenty of water which is what we've all been doing so we should all be very healthy in the internal department now and keep out of the sun between 11 and 3. we are having exceptionally high temperatures and apparently this is going to happen it could be the way that it it might be the way that every summer is going to be now so we need to acclimatize because us brits we're hopeless we're hopeless in the snow we're hopeless in a flood and we're hopeless in the sun in fact i don't know why we're even on this planet because we're not even trained and equipped our sas training's gone out the window hasn't it and do not go right this is what i was talking about to the firefighters today and they're going to come in and talk to you about this do not go swimming in lakes rivers reservoirs or quarries now i know we haven't got many reservoirs or quarries around here well we've got edgebaston reservoir is that still there either way don't do it because i personally quite like you listening to my show 
and all the other presenters do. And we don't want to hear anything bad happening on the news. There's already another poor lad who's lost his life this week. And one. There's been two, actually. So, have a bit of sense about yourself. Pull your socks up and think about what's um, occurring in life. I'm going to play you a few ads because I know that you need to hear these. Fed up with condensation every morning and hate that yucky mould patch in the bathroom? It's time to contact EnviroVent. They've helped tackle mould and condensation dampness in over a million homes, just like yours. To find out more and to book a free home survey, visit envirovent.com because air matters. SolihullRadio.com Stagecoach Solihull teaches skills in drama, singing and dance. But these skills don't just vanish when the curtain falls. They're skills for life, stretching imaginations and improving literacy. For a career in the arts, learning new skills or just having fun. So visit our website www.stagecoach.co.uk forward slash Solihull. Stagecoach Solihull. Skills for the arts. Skills for life. Yeah. yeah. The Fireplace and Stove Centre, 1204 Stratford Road, Hall Green. Specialists in wood-burning stoves, gas and electric fires with over 50 live displays in the showroom. Come in and experience your new fireplace solutions. Call 0121 8585 for more details. You're listening to Sonic Hall Radio. Indian Dream on Dove House Parade, Sally Hall's premier family-run restaurant offering authentic Indian and Bangladeshi cuisine. With fresh ingredients and creative chefs, they can provide bespoke dining experiences, eat in or take away. 0121 704 9058. Deb Donnelly on Solly Hall Radio. Right, here it is, folks. I'm going to do double abba dabba do now because I promised. Now, I picked two songs that I haven't heard for a while. One is in the film. I don't know where the other one is. But either way, I like these abba songs. And, they're, you know, you get all the usual ones, Waterloo and all that. But I wanted to play something by abba that was a little bit different. Um, let me know what you think. I am here, and you can call me on 0121 777 or you can text me on 075 64 30 30 64, or you can email me on studio at com or Facebook, or Twitter, or Tweet, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to start off with ABBA and, hold on a minute, Angel Eyes, and the next one is I Kiss the Teacher. Now... My screen here isn't very quick, so I might have a bit of a gap between songs, but it's nothing. I'm not here. I am here. I haven't passed out. I just want you to. Here we go. Let's go for it.
Right. This is that little gap I'm talking about, and then the next one's going to start. You ready? Here we go. Everybody screaming, everybody shouting, everybody running, 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 running,
here we go and I'm going to put in what I need like this actually you know, I'm getting ever so good at this Ooh, let's try Le um, Leo Sayer here we go and um, I need to put in the song somebody's asked somebody's requested something how kind is this um, let's have a look what the song is I like to tell, I like, I like, it's to know what I'm doing, do you know what I mean? Because I, I, I think it's important that you feel like at home. Let's see if we can do this while I'm talking to you. <gasps> I get quite proud of myself, let's have a look. Let's see what I, oh, I found it. So I'm now going to put it, I don't want to play it, so I'm going to put my little switch down, so that just in case it comes on, I don't want to, I don't want to, um, disrupt your power of thought if you know what I mean right what was the saying I have actually looked up this week I'm doing something and talking to you I'm going to be a bit flat oh no I'm going to make that's the wrong one where is it where is it that's it I've got it there right okay let's go back oh <gasps> get onto my so here oh dear me I need to stop that now right I need to play this request in a minute which I will do oh I've got I've lost everything here we go. Right, what I was saying to you was, that's mine. There we go, lovely. Right, what I need to do is go through some... Li now, I, I looked up this week about how to cool yourself down at night, because I can't sleep with this heat. I don't know about you, but I'm having, I'm having a bit of trouble. So, these are the suggestions I have found. Brace yourselves, because I couldn't get my head around some of these. <laughs> put your sheets in the freezer before you go to bed now I don't know how big your freezer is but I can't see me getting my sheets in the freezer and then by the time I, I was trying to work this out because look, if you put your sheets in the freezer and then you go and then by the time you made the bed they're either going to be damped, damp or defrosted hmm so I'll put three question marks after that one right here we go Stick hot water. Oh, see, this one I thought was quite good. But then again, that might be a bit too much. It might be a bit of a shock to the system. Stick a hot water bottle in the freezer with water in it, obviously. And it acts like an ice pack. I don't know. So there's a bit... Well, the other thing was, cotton wear cotton nightwear or go commando. Now, I don't, you know, I'm not telling you. If you wear nothing in bed, that's entirely up to you because... You know, but I, I often wonder, what if you had a burglar or something caught fire and you're there? You're not going to fumble around in the dark for your nighty, are you? Either way, there. Ice in a shallow tin in front of a fan. So if you've got a fan in your bedroom, put some ice in it. And apparently the little, the little bits of water off the ice spray all over you while you're asleep. Mm. Sleep alone was the other one. Mmm. Which I do anyway, and I've discovered that it doesn't do much. But there you go. Right, I'm going to play this request. It's for it's for um, it's for Tony, and he said that he likes his song, and it may resonate with me. I like songs that resonate with me, because you know I am quite a complex little creature. When I get, I'm a bit like a hobbit, if you know what I mean. I'm going to try this. I've never heard this one. Don't say it can wait. Till tomorrow, because it won't wait for you. Oh, well, I wonder sometimes what the future may be, but all that it tells me is wait and see. Should I let the tide carry me like a wave on the shore? But I don't want my life. Thank you. 
lovely i'm not gonna wait for tomorrow i'm gonna surge forward in a positive motion but thank you for that song that was very nice you always seem to you know me very well don't you dear which is a slight worry i'm gonna play um a bit of dusty spring not long ago i was in a play at Hall Green Little Theatre. I'm, I'm going to do my theatre news in a minute because we've got the core and Hall Green Little Theatre. Those are the two that I like to concentrate on because the rest, they've got all their whatevers. But our little local theatres need promoting. I'm going to do that in the August week that I've got on my own. I'm going to pop along to the core. I'm going to have a word with Jeff. Pop along to the core. Sounds like a woman on a mission. And I'm going to speak to a lady. I forgot what he said the name was. But don't worry, I will speak to her. And I'm going to try and be the first one that knows what's going on at the core. Core, if you know what I mean. I am going to now play a couple of back-to-backs. I'm going to play Dusty. Anyway, I was, I was going to say, well, see, I lose my train of thought. I'll witter on. I'll go. I'll go and divert. Um... I was in a play about Dusty Springfield's life story and I've got to say she was a very complex lady but I really enjoyed that play. I've got I really did and I played six parts in it. <gasps> you played six parts in it, I hear you say. Yes I did and that three of them with with accents. So I didn't do too badly. One was a teenager, which is quite at my age quite a flattering thing to play. In my Parker coat. I looked I thought, oh yes, and Radio Carol and all that. But, um, yeah, and this song was in it, and I loved it. And then I'm going to do a Tammy Willett song, because I can. I have the power. I will come. And, and, and I'm going to move amongst you with a bit of Dusty, and then I'm going to. You'll love this. And you'll be singing along while you're chopping your onions. I know you will. <laughs> And when his daddy would visit, he'd come along When they gather round and started talking That's when Billy would take me walking Out through the backyard we go walking Then he'd look into my eyes Lord knows to my surprise The only one who could ever reach me Was the son of a preacher man The only boy who could ever teach me Was the son of a preacher man Yes, he was, he was Yes, he was Being good isn't always easy No matter how hard I try When he started sweet-talking to me He'd come and tell me 
everything is all right. You kiss and tell me everything is all right. Can I get away again tonight? The only one who could ever reach me was the son of a preacher man. The only boy who could ever teach me was the son of a preacher man. Yes, he was. Whoa. a bit of Tammy. I just thought we could. Why not? Here we go. I've been accused, among other things, of doing most of my writing for you ladies. But I did write a song special for you guys. Don't go away feeling slightly. This is special. Just one man. You'll have bad times, even good times, doing things that you don't understand. But if you love him, you forgive him. Solihullradio.com Right, I know that wasn't some of your taste, but I like that song. And when I was a little girl, because I was once, well, I'm still little. Yeah, I'm still a girl. Anyway, either way, um, when I was little... Oh, hang on a second, what was that? Oh, right, it's okay. Um, I um, grew up to that song. My mum played it a lot. And... I grew uh, when she used to play. I used to think, oh. But now, as I've got older, 
I understand it a bit, so that's why I like that song. Theatre news. Oh my gosh, the time's zipping along tonight. I've got, it only seems five minutes since I landed and uh, I, you know, blew Jeff's life out the water by saying, I got no sound. <laughs> and he went, I'm on my way. I have wings of steel. Anyway, we're nearly, nearly, you can, you can all relax now and breathe. Two, three, four. Right, here we go. Theatre news. The core in Solihull. Now, this is a theatre for you lot because it's your theatre. It's like all green little theatre. They belong to you. And if you don't use them, they're not going to last very long, are they? Anyway, at the core, we have on Friday, the 3rd of August, which is next Friday. Yep, yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm off to another open day next Saturday. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Um, uh, third of it, Dr. Doolittle is on at the core theatre. So... That's a nice one for you and the family, isn't it? So get in touch with the core. Do you beg your pardon? Get in touch with the core and find out whether there's any tickets available, or how you get your tickets, whether you can book them on the door or whether you can collect on the night. Find out all these things and take yourself to the theatre. Theatre's a great place to be. It's just... I, do, I love the theatre, I do. I never, I never used to be too fussed, but since I've done a bit of this and that and then dabbled, I love it. Right, on Wednesday and a Thursday, the 5th and 6th of September, we have the ELO experience. And because we will be actually in Sully Hall then, we might try and get some of these people on our programmes. Well, we're not going to try. We are going to do it. That's why we're going to get in touch with the core lady. The core lady. Um, on Friday and Saturday of the 7th of the 8th of September, so that's the next two nights, we have the Roy Orbison story, you know, pretty woman walking down the street. Now, I don't know whether I've missed un uh, stundust, uh, understood. Stunder, is that the same as understood? Anyway, I don't know, but I I think I have a vague recollection that he wrote this song for his wife when, she, when he met her. How romantic. How romantic. Somebody writing a song for you. <sighs> anyway, so there's two things. Hall Green Little Theatre, the 14th to the 22nd of September, we have the Vicar of Dibley, uh, the Christmas of the Second Coming, which is the one where Alice gives birth in the stable. Absolutely hilarious. And if you, go, if you went to see the last one um, at Hall Green Little Theatre, you need to go and see this one because it is very, very funny and they've got the same cast. Um, there's one that's not going to be there, but he's he's all right. He's just he's just done a lot of plays this year and he's tired. So, and the other thing that's on at Hall Green Little Theatre, and my daughter's in it, is the youth theatre, and they are actually doing Alice in Wonderland between the fifth and the thirteenth of October. So, if you are actually interested in Alice in Wonderland, take yourself along. My daughter Jess isn't, not just Jess isn't doing all the parts on her own, I'd like to say. She's, you know, got all the fellow actors with her. Now, we have ten minutes to go. I've given you my thought. I've given you the tips for sleep. Do you know what? Oh, there was another tip for sleeping well in this hot weather. And it was called the Egyptian, the Egyptian. Do, do it like the Egyptians. And I thought, what's that mean? I had to laugh because you're supposed to, the, apparently the Egyptians used to, wet their sheets or dampen their sheets and wrap themselves in it and sleep like that oh I couldn't do that you like wrapping yourself in a chamois leather wouldn't it not very pleasant I'm going to play you Aretha Franklin I am going to tell you what's happening on Solio Radio and, and say my thank yous then it will need time for me to go home. Now, do I go and have a quick Coca-Cola with our Reevesy? Because I haven't seen him for a while. Since I trained him, actually. I, tra I trained him. He's not a dog. I don't mean I trained him. I mean, I mentored. Is the word mentor? I think so. Oh, I like this song.
Oh, sorry about that. My friend has just messaged me and said, great choice of songs tonight, Deb. I'm enjoying them. She said they're my favourites. Thank you, Jo. I'm liking my selection this evening. I'm feeling very as if I've done... I've been a good girl this week and picked some nice ones. I, I like to do a bit of variety, you know. You know what I'm like. And Jo's the one, actually, who said when she hears that Paloma Faye song, play your own kind of music, she thinks of me. Of course, you see, Jo and I are very kindred spirits. We know each other quite well. I think we're very similar creatures. That's what it is. And I've got to say, I love you to be Jo Gibson. I miss you very much. Anyway... Let's not get sentimental, because I've got, I've got things I need to say to people. Right, first of all, if you can help us on the furniture department, office furniture, even if it's the smallest little swivel chair that you've ever seen in the world, or one of them ball things that you have on your desk, you know, like you see in the old 80s films, please get in touch and um, give us a hand, because we are actually very excited at the prospect of moving house. Solly Hall Towers is going to become Solly Hall Skyscraper, and it's absolutely fantastic. Me and Josh were saying earlier that as much as we're looking forward to it, it's going to be a tad weird, because we've got quite a little cosy little set up here, and when, when you put your cosiness into a big space, your cosiness feels a bit lost, doesn't it? But we'll get used to it. It's like everything you get used to, isn't it? And we are very excited. It means that we're working in the right direction and we're giving you what you need because we've got to find somewhere bigger. Obviously, we are getting bigger and we are very grateful for everybody who listens to us, everybody who, you know, makes the effort to listen to us because... We can't say how grateful we are. There, there are no words. Anyway, next week, Solly or Radio, we have on... Uh, no, tomorrow we have Alex in the morning doing his children's show for the Little Diddlies. Molly O'Brien, you're going to lo love it, aren't you? We'll see if we can get him play him another tune. I want to see you sitting on your chair dancing. And then in the afternoon, we have Lee with her corner coat. Oh, I don't know. Is she back? Because she's, she's out tanning herself in Spain. Either way, it might, be a, it might be a recorded show. Either way, Lee is on between four and six. Um, on uh, Monday, we have Duncan and his Totten and his wing back chair, and it's absolutely wonderful. And a glass of whiskey. Oh, Dun Duncan, a lady I was talking to in the week said, Is she loves listening to you, you little tiger, you. Um, on Tuesday, we have Jeff, legal, medical, and whatever else Jeff wants to be. He's dancing along, he's got his music, everything's going on. We're absolutely fantastic. We have Nick. Necktie Nick doing his show. I'm not sure what his subject is this week, but I'm sure it'll pop up and we'll find out. Oh, that didn't sound too good, did it? Sorry, Nick. I do apologise. Anyway, Thursday we have Matt, a young, funky Matt. My daughter loves you, Matt. My mate, my Jess, she thinks you're really cool. Oh, Friday we have, in the morning we have John. Our daddy, our daddy, oh gosh, Daddy Harris is on. He's doing his topical show along with some music and to ease you into, ease you into a Friday. And then on the night we have our Reesby with his quiz, his music and his terribly tasteless jokes. But there you go. And then on Saturday I will return and it will nearly be my birthday. Oh, I'm going to see the police next week at Chelmsley Wood. See, they get jealous. They couldn't let the fire have me to themselves. No, they had to get involved. So I'm going to see the police next week. I am going to leave you now. I would like to say I have been me. Thank you for letting me into your homes, your life, your mind, your hearts. I will see you again next week. I am going to leave you with, please be safe. Do not be dumping in into anything deep. I'm going to leave you with my favourite song from the programme, Keeping Faith. It's called Faith Song and I just think it's so, so beautiful. Joe, you'll like this song. You listen to the words of this song. Give you all that you needed You cut but I'm bleeding And all of my strength 
I give to you I love completely You lose then you leave me And all of my hope Left with you too But I give my heart All I did I give my heart And although it's lost It is still beating soul I did I give my soul and although I'm broken I am still breathing I will sleep through the moment all the moments you've stolen For my love, I'll know the truth that I gave my heart. Oh, I 